everyone. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thanks so much for being here with me. So I got my rooftop box. I'm so excited. I got a used sports rack rooftop box. It is 18 cubic feet and you guys this is a game changer for everything. A rooftop box was a necessity for me because as you know Winston and I will be traveling uh, throughout the Pacific Northwest over the course of five months this summer. So this will be my first official summer as a snowbird. And I really needed the rooftop box so I could take all of the bulky items out of my van and put them up top. Because I realized that there are a lot of different items in my van that I use on some trips but not on others. And the rooftop cargo box was the best solution. With that being said, right now I've been pulling out everything out of my van to do a complete reorganization, and this is what it's looking like right now. I was able to remove everything from the top of my Omar shelf to redistribute in this wicker basket drawer system that I put in my van. Now this wicker basket system is something, it was a hand-me-down from my mom, so I did not purchase it. It's just lucky that I had the piece of furniture and it fit in here really well. I still have my dry food storage sitting right here as well as my, my kitchen storage. And then under my shelf, I still have my camping table and my three drawer shelving unit. Now let me quickly show you what I took out of my van that will be going in my rooftop box. So far I have these following items, which consists of my propane camping stove, my portable shower, Winston's playpen, my double chair, my outdoor rug, umbrella, sunshades, and things like that. Like I said, these big bulky items. And they will go up top in my box. Since I was able to free up the space inside, I was able to put this wicker shelf right behind my dry food storage. Now I have two shelves down below and these wicker baskets that simply pull out. And then I took one of the baskets from below and I bungeed it on the top shelf so now I have additional storage. So that's kind of what it's looking like right now. I also have storage underneath my mattress and that's quite a bit of space. So I have not decided yet what I'm going to put under there. As you can see, I also took the lack table out from the side of my van right now because I have not decided what I want to do with it. So currently it's out and this is what the inside of my van is looking like. So the, the idea was to take all the big bulky items out of my trunk and out of the van to create more living space so Winston and I have that as we're traveling through the Pacific Northwest. So it's really homey and I like the touches. One thing I forgot to mention is these little storage containers right here. These are from Ikea and they just pop right on. And so I'm going to get a slew of them for the other side of this shelf also. And one more thing to show you as well is all of the contents in my, from underneath my lack table. So this is what I was holding under my lack table. And it looks like a lot of items, but it's not. Almost everything fits inside that little blue bin. Of course, there's my jacket. And then here is my lack table. And I apologize, there's Winston. But that's what the lack table looks like when it's just sitting, sitting. So I know it looks really different when it's not in my van. And it looks like a lot of stuff, but all of this fits on the side of my van. So that is kind of what I'm doing in terms of my reorganization now that I have my roof rack. And as it comes along, I will be sharing more video content because I'm really completely, you know, redoing the inside of my van now 
to work with the box. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I am going to be going live today, Saturday, April 3rd, and also be looking out for more content over this next month as Winston and I prepare for our trip to the Pacific Northwest. Thank you again for being here, and Winston and I will see you on our next adventure.